Welcome to another patho video. Today's topic is narcolepsy and its symptoms. Narcolepsy is a chronic neurologic disorder that affects the brain's ability to control sleep-wake cycles. Prevalence is about 1 in 2000. The most common age of onset is between 15 and 36 years of age. All patients with narcolepsy have hypersomnia which is trouble maintaining wakefulness during the day. They experience sleep attacks, also called EDS, or excessive daytime sleepiness. Many patients also enter REM during naps, so they dream during naps. About 70% of patients experience cataplexy, which is muscle weakness, or lack of muscle control, that is tied to strong emotions, such as laughter, fear, or excitement. For example, you're elated with great news of getting a big raise, and then you feel weak in the knees and fall to the ground. The cataplexy can vary greatly in intensity, from droopy eyelids to buckling knees. Having cataplexy is pathognomonic for narcolepsy, meaning all those with cataplexy have narcolepsy. Narcolepsy type 1 is narcolepsy with cataplexy, and narcolepsy type 2 is narcolepsy without cataplexy. Some with narcolepsy experience hallucinations. They may be visual or auditory. If they occur as the patient falls asleep, they're called hypnagogic. And if they occur just as the patient is waking up, they're called hypnopompic. Sleep paralysis may also occur and is being unable to move with sleep onset or offset. The brain is awake, but the body can't move for a minute or two. It's kind of like you're halfway in REM because during REM sleep you're paralyzed. The first four stages of the sleep cycle are non-REM. The first non-REM cycle takes around 60 to 90 minutes. Stages three and four of non-REM sleep are slow wave sleep. Somnambulance may also occur, which is sleepwalking. Consolidation of declarative memories from short term to long term also occurs during slow wave sleep. Before the first REM cycle of the night, the individual goes in the reverse order, back through the non-REM stages. The first REM stage lasts for about 10 minutes, and subsequent REM stages later in the night increase in length and may last up to one hour. During REM cycles, skeletal muscles are paralyzed, except eyeball movement and the diaphragm for breathing. However, the brain is very active, and for this reason, REM is sometimes referred to as paradoxical sleep. REM is characterized by rapid eye movement, increased autonomic activity, and dreaming. Consolidation of procedural memories also occurs during REM. Through the night, the sleeping individual alternates between REM and non-REM stages, with progressively longer REM stages and less slow-wave non-REM sleep occurring later in the night. At night, patients with narcolepsy experience fragmented sleep, Comparing a healthy sleep cycle versus narcolepsy, the narcoleptic patient has too many REM cycles and not enough deep non-REM sleep. This diagram represents a sample of 100 individuals with narcolepsy and their five main symptoms. 100% had hypersomnia and fragmented sleep. 87% had cataplexy. 56% had hallucinations and 51% had sleep paralysis. Now for questions. Pause the video and think of your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.